Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Switch Lake. And, uh, yeah. Super Coalition War. Yeah, I say super. We're already at 12%. So this is going to be easy, really. We have an army here, coming to siege down, um, Narbonne. We have armies elsewhere. Where are they doing? Ah yes, we were, what were we doing? We just won a battle. And... We were trying to see if we can grab any battles. I believe. It is just going to be a... We need to occupy France. We need... Um, well ideally we need all of quantity ideas. Just to get the uh, land force limit so we can get more soldiers. We're still making a fair decent amount of money, so that's, that'll support us. Um, and a lot of the viewers here from the Reddit post that I made, so there was a suggestion that if we are losing, give all of Poland Lithuania away, which I don't want to do. I'd prefer if I could give some of Britain away, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Maybe give away. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, fi we'll find out. Depends who gets occupied and who doesn't, really. Right, sit on that. And didn't we get... Yes, we got a 5 siege. Um, so, we're not going to get quanti quantity because I'm going to be bre breaching up almost all forts I can get my hands on. So there we go, do that. People get a little bit... People are a little bit upset, but that's more because of um, previous conquests rather than... Um, Right. In Stuttgart. Ah, uh, cannot provoke. Cause that would just rebel bomb them, and it'd be funny. Oh well. Also, people can hear planes going overhead. That's fun. Um. Yeah, just gotta keep them going into mountain forts, or just any fort that gives me a bonus in a battle. Shame the um, those rebels are being beaten. I really want to go and help them, but we 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 can't. Right. So you guys recall back to the safety of our forts, because everyone else is going to fight for us while we work on France. There we go. There's that. Uh, want to keep at least a little bit so we don't get like instantly stack wiped by a rogue like 400 stack that's going to eventually be roaming around in this war um yeah i'll be back once maybe like an opportun an opportunity has presented itself for me to strike right now i know i said opportunity but this is going to be a little bit of a risky biscuit because quite frankly I want to see if I can pull this off. We have a 4-5 artillery or cannoneer, which gives us extra artillery combat ability. And we're going to go against 5,000 soldiers of Verden, seeing if they get reinforced. No, but I'm going to scorch that 4 and run away. Seeing if anyone else will get baited into that, I'll move. No, I'll y move you there, but I'll move this stack to s scorch Brazegal. Um, I move. Uh, we got this siege, or we got all this down. So I'm moving up here, potentially once we get that, we might be able to go and um, rescue Kain. Hmm. Hmm. No, can't go. And it's like, it's the one with the general in as well. You scorch that. Right, we might be able to get here in time. There we go, there goes that one. Oh, 
Right, this is going to be like an even more risky bisky. But I might, I'm probably able to get these soldiers out. 18th. You guys leave. I'm sorry, what? That's another, um, that's another uh, F12 moment. Because that. Yeah, sure, do that. Right. You guys start. This isn't a scorch, but we might be able to pull this off. Ooh, that, it's looking good on morale ticks. We have slightly less morale, but we have more mill tactics. They're not reinforcing, they're not reinforcing another battle won. And the Pope was coming to reinforce, we will... Oh, we did scorch it, that's why they weren't reinforcing. They are now going to Metz, so I'm going to move my troops up here. Um, we'll be able to get... Oh, we were able to convert Mulhausen, so Stuttgart is the only one left. So hey, let's 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 go for it. Why not? See if we can unseat. Nah. No 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 no. Be smart. Be smart. We don't want to do that. We're in a war though. We can't spend money unnecessarily. Only when it benefits us. So they got Kane. I'm gonna barrage that because we need our way through this coalition. Cause. We keep losing war score, and I suspect, yeah, it's because the AI doesn't know how to take battles. Also, we lost a um, naval battle, which is interesting. Though, oh, we control all the edges of Europe, while the entire centre is just going absolutely ape. But these pretender rebels still occupy, so... Since no one's on Met, ah, some people are on Met, may as well. But I'm gonna go and attack those sieging John Ace. Right, you go into there because you have two cannons. Um, right, there we go. Operation Relief of the Pretenders. Right, let's get in this battle, boys. Com let's completely overstack it. Ooh, I'm a professionalism. That's free manpower. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. There we go. There's that battle won. Uh, let's go send you there and send you to Unsiege Paris. I assume Charter. No, that, that. Is this level 3? Ooh! That's the new French capital. Right. The war in France is going well, as you can see. We'll be back once we. Um, actually, rather than going over there, let's go over here instead. Let's turn all the way around. Let's go and find some, fight some nice juicy um, Germans on Ulm. Ulm is going to be the battleground for most, well, it's seemingly the battleground for most battles in this campaign. Right. Well, by campaign I mean um, this war coalition battle. Yes. Mm hmm. Anyway, yeah, see you in a minute. Ooh, when I said see you in a minute, I meant right now, because the AI tasted blood. The Pope entered a battle, and literally everyone moved. So everyone's reinforcing it. But they're all trying to move through Ulm, which is funny, because it was scorched. Ooh, fair dealing. Ooh, Munich is happy. Right, double battle, take this one, and that one. Right, this is going to be a fun battle. Um, we're close on dip dev. So 
so we'll develop a little bit. Right. Oh god, we were attacked by Franth. I should be paying attention over here as well. We won the battle in Ulm, but we, I don't think we'll be able to get these out. No, we won't be able to get these guys out. So, pull these guys back all the way to... No, I tried to get to Ferenz. Oh well, right, that battle was won. Right, pull back. Yeah, there we go. Pull back. We need to move over here. And we need to relieve the, these sieges. No, no. Oh, thank God, it's none of my soldiers. However, Britain's going in, so we might as well. Just slowly reinforce. No, what are you doing? There we go. Right, Britain's in it, so we'll join in. Just, sl again, slow reinforce, which lets morale tick over better in our favour. There we go. Easy peasy. Gabu, friends. Right. Um, this one, yeah, this one will go. Or should. Here we go. Let's look at the casualty report. Oh yes. Wait a minute. What was that Spanish one? <sighs> Chalwa. Oh, that was this one. Yeah, the one that we won. Or oh, we were there as part of. Um, that siege was reset. They took Munich, but it doesn't matter. And they still won't accept peace. Ooh. Right. And now we get off that siege because it's not important to us. Spain can do it. Don't bother me. But we need, we do need France down and out. Because if we get France down and out, that's a lot less Elan troops that we have to deal with. Because their morale is hell to deal with. So if we get rid of their morale, we don't, we no longer have to worry about it. Oh, oh, yeah, they're free, and they are not part of the coalition, so we can separate piece them. Oh yeah, let's all come together. If we can piece them out with a different piece, we have essentially won, right, they're on, they can sit on brigands as long as they like, that won't do anything. Uh, do that. Grab a few more, and as I said, if we get France down and out, we can just sweep across Europe. Oh god, computer, not happy. Oh god, me, not happy. No go. Okay, you really want to go that way. Um, do we have a good general that will help? Leader. Leader, good. Yeah, leader, make them go away. Right. Still keeping an eye on them. I'm fairly certain they're the last French troops. No, there's double that somewhere. Also, Spain, Poland, Lithuania. Poland, Lithuania, holding them off. Denmark, hiding behind the straits. Fair enough. Uh, British troops are resieging Kane, Kong, or whatever. Um, they're walking, in, walking into it. Oh no, they're not. Run, boys, run. Um, I don't know if we'll get there in time. Do we have fast boy? We have fast boy. They won't get there in time. Um, 
get the siege, get the siege, get the siege, get the siege, get the siege. Run. I don't think we will get there in time. No, but we're already locked in. Oh, that was that was so close. But oh well, now we're super committed to this battle. So ain't that a shame? Um yeah. Um sure, get rid of the armor tradition. Yes, we won. And that should be a stack wipe. There it goes. Oh god, those casualties. That is disgusting. Um, you guys sit in Verdun and the episode's ending. So, ain't that nice. So yeah, um, anyone new from the uh, Reddit post I made, pleasure to meet you. This is essentially what I do. I completely ignore any coalition until it attacks, and I'm like, oh god, why did I do this? That, that will be the entire campaign for the foreseeable future. Because it's funny. But yeah, anyone who watches, anyone who likes, feel free to do whatever it is that makes you, that you feel fit. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it.